when you start looking at an abdomen like this, one of the first things that I do is I just put my hand and rest it on the lower burner. And I like to feel the heat that's there. Then I put it on the middle burner and feel the heat that's there. And then I put it on the upper burner and feel the heat. In somebody who's in a perfectly balanced state, this should be the warmest, less warm, and the least warm. Okay? Yong Ming should be warming the whole body. Like right? Ming Man should be warming the whole body. Then you have the digestion, which is also working. And this should just be air, right? So this should be the least warm. Now, in her body, this is the warmest. Here, it's a little bit cooler. And here, it's a little bit warmer, okay? So there might be a little bit of a problem between the middle burner and the upper burner. That's just a simple information that you can keep in your mind to see how that plays out. Okay, so well, as I said, here we have this. This washes off. It's a surgical. <laughs> okay, so this area here is our kidney area. Okay, so we can start here around kidney four. And you're going to tell me where it's sensitive. That's, That's sensitive. sensitive yeah. Okay, so let's mark kidney four as being sensitive. Okay. When I put a cross, it means it's sensitive, okay? Less sensitive. Less sensitive. Not much. Okay. And how about here? It's okay. Uh -uh. Okay. So I can also check here. Uh -huh. Yeah. And here. Uh -huh. Not, okay. So, so, so far we have three points of interest. They're all in the kidney area. Let's continue up, going over this area here is going to be my spleen or earth area, okay? Mm. It's a bit sensitive, mm. yeah? Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you ask them or you also feel the difference? Both, but um, I s even if I feel something, I still use their input more than mine. Okay. I trust the patient <coughs> more than I trust myself. there. And now let's go into this area. Okay, so this whole area is sensitive. Okay. Mm. So her whole dumai, I'm not going to mark up there. So we can see that we have places in this in the spleen, sorry, in the kidney area, in the spleen area, and in the heart area. Now let's go over here. Is this sensitive? Okay. And how about here? A little bit. Okay. But not very sensitive. Okay. So, we have kidney, spleen, and heart, okay? This is the one pattern I didn't want to show up right now. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It's funny. Because it's the one pattern I didn't show you, okay? So what I need to do is I need to take off the watch. Now, one of the keys is that we're always going to confirm before I put the needles in. Because even though I'm thinking now, here, I'm looking at a San Zhao pattern, okay? It makes sense because San Zhao interacts with kidneys, okay? Because San Zhao kidney is Xiao Yin, Xiao Yong. San Zhao interacts with spleen between midday and midnight. And San Zhao interacts with the pericardium heart region because pericardium heart is fire, okay? <coughs> it also makes sense because we have a lower middle and upper burner dysfunction, right? All three parts have been shown, okay? So the reason I didn't want to show you the San Zhao, but I'm going to do it now anyways, is because the way that I approach um, five elements is that for me, the San Zhao is actually an earth element, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look. If it's an earth element, the supplementing element is going to be fire, okay? Earth tonifies fire. So the fire point on the Sanja meridian is Fire Sanjo. tonifies earth. Yeah, fire, fire tonifies, tonifies earth. earth. So yeah. what would I say? You said the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fire tonifies earth. So the fire point is Sanja 6, right? So Sanja 5, Sanja. Is that sensitive there? A little bit, yeah. Yeah? Here. Ooh, ow! Okay. <laughs> 
So Sanjo 6 is sensitive. Yeah. The connecting point to Sanjo 6 that interacts with it, so the fire point on fire, is going to be small intestine 5. Yeah, that's sensitive there. Okay. So what's good about this system is that I'm checking and I'm making sure that my idea of using Sanjiao, her body is responding. Okay. So that is my left side tonification treatment. Now what am I going to be choosing on the right side for Sanjiao? For San <coughs> so what controls Earth? Wood. So I'm going to be looking for the wood point on San Zhao, which is San Zhao 3. Is that sensitive there? Here? There. Okay. And what is the wood point on wood? Uh, 41. Gallbladder 41. But you're right, liver 101 on the yin side is correct. Is that sensitive there? Yes. Okay. So, I have logically, my four points have all been shown as being ASHA or active points. Okay? So now we're going to go and we're going to insert the four needles. So remember, I'm on the left side. Am I going to be tonifying or dispersing? Tonifying. Tonifying. So what are, my going to, what are some of the things I have to think about when I insert the needles to make sure that I'm on a tonifying system? I'm going to ask her to breathe out. How am I going to insert the needle? Slow. Slow. Slowly. Okay. <coughs> and which direction is the needle going to go in? Direction of the meridian. Right. So it's going to go towards the, el the, the elbow. Okay. One of the things I do is, even though all that is true, I'm going to break the skin quickly. I'm not going to break the skin slowly. I'm going to break the skin quickly, I'm going to wait a couple of seconds, and then go down. Okay? To give the body time to react. Okay? So, I want to be slowly going towards her. So, take a deep breath in. Okay? So, I've broken the skin. I let it relax. And then... I just slowly go down until I feel like <coughs> at a good place. Okay? So I'm in the direction of the meridian. Okay? So now we're going to do the same thing with small intestine 5, which is here. I'm going to take you, ask you to take a deep breath in and breathe out. Very good. So I've broken the skin, I wait, and then we go down. Perfect. Okay? So now let's uh, you're putting that one in more perpendicular? Actually, I did put it in this way, but when I let yeah. go, mm -hmm. it re mm -hmm. res responded. Okay? So it's not so important. as When I put it in, it was going that way, and then the body automatically moved it back mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. So here we have San Zhao 3. Okay? So this time I'm going to put it on a dispersion. So what am I going to do differently? Against the channel. Against the channel. And what is she? Breathe in. Breathe in. She's going to breathe in. I'm going to go a little bit quicker. Okay? So breathe in. Okay? Um, don't forget to breathe out in between. Okay? So now breathe in again. Okay? So I've put in my four needles. Okay? Now, let's come back and see how it's changed. How does that feel now? Much better. How does that feel? Good. How does that feel? Okay. How does that feel? A little okay. bit, no, not much. Here? Yeah. Okay. Here? Oh, yeah. Here? Uh. Here? Uh. Okay. And how about here? No. Okay, so what has really been left is this area of the spleen, right? So it's the, it was here that was so sensitive, okay? So what were some of the points that I could add to treat the spleen? 
Yeah. We're not going to put anything there. Oh, no. Okay. So okay. remember at the at the beginning we had the spleen, so I gave you some extra points for the spleen. Do you remember what they were? Spleen. spleen. So we had spleen three because it was the one source point. Spleen six. Okay. We had a point um, Sanjiao three A zero four right, and I also said we could use um, a spleen six or sorry spleen seven or um, seventy seven point one nine. Yeah, uh -huh. around the spleen line area. So we're going to go over here. Normally what I do now is I'm just going to palpate the spleen meridian to see which point is going to be the most sensitive. So we're going to try spleen. So we're going to try the traditional placement of spleen 6, which is here. Is that sensitive? A little bit. Okay. The master tongue placement of spleen 6, which is one soon further up. Yes. Okay. We can also try spleen 7. Yes. Okay, and then we have the master tongue 77.19. Yes. And spleen 9. Oh, yes. So I think it's obvious which one I'm going to choose. <laughs> okay. So take a deep breath in and breathe out. Very good. And we'll go down deep. This is tonification. I didn't so much concentrate on the placement going up or down because I just wanted to get... There we go. Now let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Better. <laughs> okay. So that is how you can do a simple treatment. We've used five needles. We balanced kidney, spleen, and the heart pericardium region, okay? The patient is confident that the treatment's gonna work because they have the instant feedback of their stomach. Mm -hmm. They feel the difference right away, okay? <clears throat> so then what I do is I just let the patient, I cover the patient up, and I say, now, take a nap, I go have a coffee. <laughs> Okay? Green well, green tea. I drink my mat tea. <laughs> but what I actually do is I go and I go to my next patient, okay? You saw that that was, um, what, 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay? So even if you're treating internal problems, you can still be seeing a patient every 15 to 20 minutes if you want to. Okay? And have more than enough time to spend with the patient. How do you feel now? I feel much better. It's really very effective. And now here's the thing, so I didn't ask her what the problem was, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I wanted to show you that we don't need to. But what were the problems you came in for? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. I have a spasm that goes along the outside of my leg. Okay. Yeah? I have trolley cramps in my legs in the, in the night. Okay. I have, suddenly this joint here has become swollen and I can't move that finger properly. Mm -hmm. And it's also on the other side but less. Okay. So what are what is the one similarity of all the things you just mentioned? Xiaoyang. Xiaoyang. Oh, absolutely. And without knowing that it was a Xiaoyang problem, what did I end up treating? Xiaoyang. Xiaoyang. Sanjiao, which is Xiaoyang. So we can see that by following the abdomen, we're also going to be led to the same area. Okay? So that's also just another advantage of you if she came in without, you know, you would have had to think about how am I going to treat the legs, okay? So is it, is it wind, so I'm going to have to treat liver, is it this, is it that? Here, you're able to synthesize a treatment much easier, okay? So how about we leave you for a while while we go have a break? Okay? <laughs> okay? We can, you can benefit a little bit.